What's going on, YouTube? This is Delonius here, Team Blue Falcon, coming at you with my undefeated Dino deck profile. Super spicy, super consistent. Came away with this beautiful Battle of Chaos mat. We'll go ahead and get into the deck profile. We are going to go with a standard baby list, which is one petite, two armadors, and three baby saurus. Um. I like this ratio. It lets me pull in the Obi Raptors or just great consistency pieces. Sadly, we only have one misc. I wish it was at more than one. And then another one of for our level fours would be Giant Rex. A card is inherently is a brick. Don't want to see it in hand. You want to pull from deck with either the Baby Source or the Obi Raptor Search. And then the star of the deck, which is the Leading Obi Raptor card is disgusting it's a foolish or it's an ad and then it's a pop a card on a dinosaur on board to swap around so end up putting a baby swap a baby special summon it's free doka free dpe for our big boys we are playing two conductors three is way too much since how searchable it is with evolution pill and with obi raptor and we're also playing one pank and one dogran Dogran has been extremely live. Um, it's searchable. It's a searchable kaiju. Any kaiju that's searchable is busted. We we see it in insects. Insects get to abuse it. So I guess Dino's going to abuse it too with the searchable Dogran. Today it came up one time into Eldritch. Uh, especially over their Eldritch. And... Uh, just keeping their effects from popping because he already used the elixir to put in play. So that was that was great. Um, the Pangratops, it's just it's nice because when they give them tokens, you can get a free summon and then you can pop a back row before you go off into your UTC OTK boards. So we'll move on to our hand traps. We are playing uh, one driver, three gamma. Most car, we, we activate a lot of effects that don't happen in hand. So Having the Gamma be able to protect it, awesome. And especially when they're starting to shotgun Lancia in the standby, Gamma's great. Get a free Omega to snipe another card in hand in a main phase, that's fantastic. And then standard 3 Imperm. Um, I actually cited this out more than anything. I played into Eldritch, Virtual World, Should All Despia. And I don't remember the other one. The other one was probably Doo Doo. But ended up citing these out more for other for other going second cards like three Dark Ruler No Mores, um, uh, evenly matches, etc. Now for the spells, the one called by. We're playing two double evolution pills. Searchable. Opening up one in hand is not bad. Searching the other is fantastic. And some consistency cards. Playing two tactics, I thought three was too much. Um, I've resolved this almost every game, but it's phenomenal. Uh, the, the just being able to steal a monster to link into or push game, snipe a card from a hand or draw two to, to deep break yourself, fantastic. Such a phenomenal card. We're playing two prosperities. If I were to cut any cards in the deck for the next format, it's going to be the prosperity along with the... The fusion destiny going down the two, giving myself three more spots for either hand traps or a different uh, package like the scrap package. And then for can other our last bit of consistency, three fossil dig standard. I mean this is not a once per turn surgery. It's like Tenki. It was Rota. Next, you know we're gonna see this to one. And then finally, three lost world. Go ahead and please ignore the mix match rarities everything. I lost my structure deck stuff, so I have golds and I have structure deck stuff. And then finally, probably the MVP of the day will be the Fusion Destiny Celestial Dasher. All right. We all know what DPE does. Absolutely disgusting. Such a phenomenal card. Now for the extra deck, our link ones. Give me Link Rebo and Secure Gardener. 
We know the combo, Link Rebo and the Secure Gardener. That way we can get double evolution pill at the UTC, right? Um, we're playing one Predaplant, one Pentastag, Pentastag, self-explanatory, same as Predaplant, DPE, push game OTK with when they have tokens on board. 3,500 piercing is, is a lot of damage. One Lambda. We're playing Gamma, so we might as well play Lambda. We have the extra deck space. Lambda is disgusting. Being able to Lambda while you have a DP and while you have a UTC on board is 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 a little unfair. And we are playing the Nightmare Package. Generic links, um, these are flexible. You know, you can you can play whatever you want. If you're playing the Scrap Package, you're probably not playing Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Cerberus. But they both did come up today. Uh, Unicorn did not come up once. It's a little bit harder to get into. I'm not typically link climbing too often unless I absolutely have to. And when I do, it's usually into Bow the Goddess and Access Code Talker. Today, these did not come up once. I actually banished them more often with Prosperity than anything. They're just there because they're fantastic cards. And to start off with the XCs, we are playing one Lagia, one Dolka, one Tornado. Tornado didn't come up at all. Lagio MVP. If I had to pick an X seed, uh, Dolka came up once and was great. Two negates into into VW, fantastic. Two negates into Despia, that was great too. Um, Tornado probably is another flex piece. Go ahead and drop that. Um, especially when we get the new support, Dy uh, Dynamorphia. I'm thinking there might be some synergy between this and Dynamorphia. And then lastly, for the Synchro, we're playing the Omega, we're playing Gamma Package, Snipe a card from your hand, Reset your Misc. Such a phenomenal card. And probably the Lord and Savior of this deck, DPE. We're not playing the Scythe Lock. We, if we were playing the Scrap Package in Pure, no, no DPE, we'd be ending on Tornado Scythe, which is still disgusting. But I have to say... This DPE has, it, it's a card to deal with. It forces so many hands. You, you, you can't leave this card unchecked because it just it's just consistent value. Now, for the side, um, I went with a pretty generic side. Still trying to figure out what's going to be the format after this ban list is in effect. You know, with three skill drains, etc. You know, looking at leaning towards possibly playing... Three Trap Eater, a Boiler of Savage Dragon in the extra deck, just to move myself into a better control to kind of move around the floodgates. That's going to be more persistent. You know, Tikaboo, Skill Drains. There's a, lot, there's a lot that's going to be going on. Ogre is going to be a big card next format in a week, actually. Ogre stops so many things. But it's, like I said, extremely standard. Two Lantia, two Token Collector. Didn't play any Sword Soul today or Brave Token, so this was the point of that. Then three Dark Ruler, the Make Me Go Second. This is a great card. Just some back row hate. These are in place of Lightning Storms, but the Cyclones do skirt around the Heavenly Prison. Two more Blowout cards, evenly matched. And then we're playing one Red Beauty Boot and two Royal Decrees. Just. Honestly, a lot of edge hate, a lot of stun control hate, because what this deck dies to is floodgates. So, any way to minimize that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I can. Well, I appreciate everybody stopping in. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, stay tuned for some more awesome deckless content next week. We will be uploading some post banless tri brigade, some post banless drytron, along with some combo videos, and. Go ahead and stop by the Twitch every Wednesday and Friday doing Master Duel, Platinum Grind, or Solo. Alright, have a good rest of your weekend. Peace.